So it turns out that protons and neutrons are not actually fundamental particles. They themselves are built of smaller particles, which are known as quarks. So quarks were first proposed independently in 1964 by Murray Gelman and George Zweig. So as far as we know at the moment, quarks are fundamental particles. But as our understanding develops, this could well change in the future. So quarks cannot be found in isolation. They're always found in collections of three or two quarks. So all our baryons are built up from three quarks, while our mesons are all built up from two quarks. So the different types of quarks are up, down, charm, strange, top and bottom. The old name for top and bottom, which I quite like, are truth and beauty. So the symbols for the quarks are U, D, C, S, T and B. And they all have a charge of plus two thirds times the charge on an electron or minus one third the charge on the electron. So the up quark has a charge of plus two thirds, down quark minus one third, charm plus two thirds, strange minus one third, top plus two thirds and bottom minus one third. Each of these quarks also has an associated antiquark with the opposite charge. So our proton is actually made from two up quarks and one down quark. So let's just check that the charge works out in this case. So if we have two up quarks, we have two times two thirds the charge on an electron, so four thirds the charge on the electron, plus the down quarks charge of minus one thirds. So four thirds minus one third gives us three thirds, which is just one times the charge on an electron and a positive charge. The neutron is actually made up of two down quarks and an up quark, so two times minus one third gives us the minus two thirds and then the up quark has a charge of plus two thirds which gives us a neutral charge overall. Protons and neutrons aren't the only particles that we can make from quarks. We can make a large number of baryons from quarks. So an example of such a baryon is a sigma minus particle which actually consists of two down and one strange quark. Now, quarks have their own rules and conservation laws around them. One property which quarks have is whimsically known as colour. So quarks can have one of three colours. They can be green, red or blue. The rule when combining quarks is that whenever we combine quarks, we have to end up with a colourless particle. So as when we mix green, blue and red light, we end up with white light, this is a colourless combination. So when we're building our proton, one of these quarks has to be green, one has to be blue and one has to be red. And the same for our other baryons. We can also build mesons which are consisted of two quarks. So in this case we always have a quark and an antiquark because colour also comes in anti-colour. So once again we have to have colour so we could have a blue quark and an anti-blue quark and when we combine these two together we end up with a colourless quark. Sorry, a colourless meson. So an example of a meson that we can build from two quarks is the pi plus meson, which is built from an up quark and an anti-down quark. So we can work out the charge in this case. Up has a charge of plus two thirds, down has a charge of minus one third, so an anti-down is plus one third. So the charge in this case is two thirds plus one third, which is one, which is why this is known as a pi plus meson.